What's up guys? Wanted to get my algae turf scrubber online. The other one that I had uh, was good, but it, um, this one I just wanted to make an easier one. I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up a cheap $10 pump. Now they also have those $20, 20% coupons. So, you know, 20% minus the $10, great pump. Now, if you do have an MJ1200, I suggest go ahead and use that. But I didn't have one on hand, and this is, you know, $10 safe for the aquarium, and it's just going to work just as fine. Um, my other MJ pumps are being used. So I actually went to the store. I thought I was going to use uh, the half inch, um, I, but you're actually going to use the 3 8 um, PEX pipe. Now the fitting that I did use is a half inch. It's going to go right on top of the um, pump. And it's going to connect right into the 3 8 PEX pipe. Um, I'm using a box cutter right there. You can use a Dremel, but the Dremel is just going to make a mess to make that line. So it's easier just using the box cutter. The zip ties that I used were the smallest ones. And they fit perfectly in, the, in between the screen. And it's just going to, you're just going to zip tie them together. Space it out evenly. And that's what's actually going to secure your screen to the uh, pipe. Now when you do this, keep in mind that you really have to have a rough screen. The rough screen is what the algae is going to live off of. That's what it's gonna, how it's going to connect itself to the screen. Once you make sure you scrub it real good and rough it up. Some people use concrete. That's what I did in my first video. But uh, this time I decided to go with power tools. The power tool that I used was a drill. And um, I used the hole saw on it. As you can see, the pipe is just going to slide right over there through the you know zip zip ties and then just uh scrub the hell out of it on your screen okay you're going to do the front side and then you're going to do the back side and of course i tried doing it the forward position but make sure you have your drill in the reverse position um, because if you have it in the forward it's just going to take off and it's going to be too crazy for you another piece of equipment that i that i suggest you get it's some aquarium silicone. You can go to PetSmart, Petco, pick some up, some aquarium sealant. I actually had to cut out a piece and just stuff it in there because my uh, silicone was too uh, was too old. But I'm still going to accomplish the same thing. I cut out some of the silicone, shoved it in the pipe, and it's just going to act like as a washer. And it's going to do this, and you know, it's going to do the same exact thing that I would have with the silicone. But with silicone, it'll be a heck of a lot easier. Like I said, the water goes up, hits that right angle, push connect, and then it's just going to flow down, and it's going to be beautiful. This whole project was a breeze using the PEX pipe. Um, the other way that I did it, uh, in my last video, I used 3 quarter inch. I had to find fittings and all that. This one, I just needed two right angle push connect fittings, and then I just needed uh, the half inch... Um, so I could connect the pipe and to the pump and it other than that it was a breeze I'm gonna be using a red par 38 with blue LEDs in it um, and with the with that cheap pump it's doing great this is a 200 gallon per hour pump um, you can see the flow is awesome right there on the front and it's also pretty good on the opposite side um, let me go ahead and show you that it's doing really good really happy with it and uh, this thing was too easy to do it this way. My algae turf scrubber is actually going to be on for 14 hours. Um, lighting schedule is going to start at uh, 4 or 5 p.m. and then cut off at 6 a.m. in the next morning. I'm powering this with the, of course, PAR 38 that I showed you and also the LED that I got from Home Depot uh, mounted to the top. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and make a second algae turf scrubber for my 34 gallon Salona. And the, you can actually do use the whole screen. I went half screen uh, due to the fact that I wanted a lower profile. I didn't want something um, doing the, uh, you know, salt creep all over the place. I connected it to my Reef Keeper light using a dual plug. So it's actually on the same schedule as my um, regular light that I had on my, for my uh, chato. And uh, all I had to do was stick it next extension on there i highly recommend this guys thanks for watching hit that like hit subscribe 
and uh, we'll give you an update on how it's doing. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys.